Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Okay, you can see my 1973 Camaro just behind me there. Recently I've done quite a bit of work on the car. I have replaced all the braking system, the brake lines, everything else, and converted it over to rear disc brakes. All in the name of safety and drivability because I want to drive this car. Uh, I also converted the brakes to Hydro Boost. Let me show you. Hydro Boost. It uses power steering fluid pressure to actually help you push the brakes. That is a very cool system and has solved my braking problems because before I had very little vacuum in the motor and so my brake booster wasn't really helping me. The brakes didn't feel very good. Now with Hydro Boost, the brakes feel great. I'll put a link below where you can see my video on my install of a Hydro Boost. But that didn't really solve an underlying problem. My motor is a L82 V8 motor. Uh, it should have good power. It's got headers, it's got some aftermarket equipment on it, but it doesn't make much power. And it doesn't produce much vacuum. Uh, it only produces up to eight inches of vacuum, which is really, really bad. So I'm wondering if I have a hidden vacuum leak, perhaps a vacuum leak underneath the manifold in the lifter valley. So I want to investigate that today. And to help me do that, I've got some special equipment. I was on Amazon shopping like I do, just flicking away and I found something really cool. All right, this is what I got. This is what I got, super deal, a depths Tech, depths tech, or something like that. It's a professional industrial endoscope. I can use this to look inside the lifter valley, to look in places where normally nobody can see. So this was an awesome deal. I'll put a link where you can get this for yourself. This, these are now really affordable. This used to be over a thousand dollars for something like this. Now this is affordable. And this is what it looks like. You have a, a monitor. Let's turn this on. And you have a very long, flexible, bendable cable and as you can see led lights on the end it also has a lens on the side you can see there's a lens on the side with an led light so this is a dual lens endoscope you can see things right so you can see scary things like that right so now i think to get access to look at the valves to look at the ports where the manifold goes into the head i'm going to have to take off the carburetor and then the endoscope will be able to give me a really good view of the cylinder heads uh, from the valve backsides and stuff right so let's take this off it's very quick to do and off comes the carburetor just like that all right, it's time to take my new toy, my new endoscope, and probe the Camaro. Okay, I'm not sure if my Camaro has consented to this uh, procedure, this probing, but we're gonna go ahead anyway. Let's see what I can find now. All right. Okay, let's head down this port. We're still in the port. It's getting darker up ahead. And then there's the mating point between the intake manifold and the heads. Okay, here we go. Wow, what a mess. What a mess. Lots of oil. And despite the fact that this engine's rarely been used, there's tons of junk in here. It looks almost like oil has been flowing into the intake manifold, or is that just gas residue? I'm not really sure. It's kind of hard to tell. And it, as you can see, the, the uh, support for the valve, the valve guide area, there's a crack right there. Can you see that? Yeah, there's a crack right there. And there's tons of oil on the bottom here, tons. Of oil. If we want, we can switch to a side camera view. Let's see, let's try that and see what happens. This is the side of the intake. I'm going out. There's the boundary between the intake. And you can see there's a lot of silicone. I used a lot of silicone. <laughs> there's the actual intake itself. There is the valve in a pool of gunk and oil. Look at that completely. What a mess. I am, yeah, that is disgusting. See, this is why you need an endoscope. Yes, you do. 
I know before this video you're thinking endoscope, why would I need to probe anybody or anything? All right, there you have it. There you have it. Endoscope has proven its worth already. I obviously have some problems with this motor. All right, so there you have it. That's the first port. That's just cylinder number seven. I'm gonna do all of them, but you can already see that I found problems with my endoscope without taking off the intake manifold. If everything was clean and looking good, I could have just moved on. Now I know that I have to take off the intake manifold and do something. So you better get yourself an endoscope and start probing. And yet another terribly messed up valve, as you can see. Here you can see just how much junk is on the top of that valve. That's the top of the valve right there. That, I don't, I don't know how air can even get into these cylinders. Okay, so, so far I'm totally, totally pleased with my new endoscope. It has really shown me things I just couldn't see in any other way. Uh, so, so far the investigation has shown that I have a lot of gunk built up on the back of the valves. I've got a lot of, looks like an oily residue inside the intake, inside the ports, the intake ports. And also a lot of silicone sealant where the intake manifold seals to the head. And also, Yes, one more thing, I've got a crack in one of the intake valve guides. So there's some pretty serious things that I have discovered with my new endoscope. And I'm just about ready to finish my look at the car, but there's one more thing I want to do which I think would be really interesting. Oh, probing, 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 probing. There's a spark plug hole. Spark plug hole, there we go. And we're in, we're in. There is the top of the piston. And if you'll notice, you can see the cross hatch right away. And also see that there is some wear from the side skirts of the piston. You can see those lines going straight up and down right there. That is some wear just from the piston slap, from the edge of the piston. Sorry, I had to kill a mosquito right there. Well, it's either them or me, okay? Okay, in conclusion, I gotta say this was a great buy. The Desk, Desk Tech DS300 dual lens boroscope. I have got to say two opposable thumbs up for this. Okay, so that little boroscope definitely helped me see that I have some problems with my Camaro. So my next step is to uh, take off the intake and look further into this and make some, maybe even some hard decisions about what I want to do in the future. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the car in the future. Today was just about uh, exploring, investigating, and uh, the boroscope definitely helped and made it a really interesting time. To be able to see inside the cylinder and see the condition of a car uh, could be very handy. I mean, you could even take, it's so easy to use, you could even take it along with you when you're going to look at a used car that you might be buying. And you take a spark plug out, you look inside, and you can see all kinds of information. Anyway, I have finished probing my Camaro for the day. So thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time. Ooh, that's disgusting.